Hey, Fan was here doing a small video about torch jumping. Um, I'm doing this in audio because because I can't write a book of commenting in audio uh, in uh, YouTube. So if you don't understand something, just ask me, and yeah, I will I will explain it to you by writing. But yeah, I found some stuff about torch jumping which help to make them more constantly and especially not getting burned like I just did I will explain to you what I, why I just got burned here and yeah how, how to not get burned and stuff and do sexy torch jump like that in real time I'm just trying to do another one here no, way too late so first thing first when you jump bounce jump with Billy. He will always try to get in the same angle as he was in the, at the base. Uh, he, will, he will try. He won't success every time, but he will try. For example, oh, for example, sorry. If you jump from this angle and you bounce jump on this one, he will try to go to the bottom, which was the angle where we jump the first time. I don't know if you understand this. Yeah, for example, here. It will again try to go to this angle. Here, it will again try to go to this angle. See, every time. So the thing you can do is jumping from this angle. Like that, you will avoid being burned. Really, you you, you will do like 10 torch jump before getting burned, which is pretty good ratio. And... Yeah, uh, this is the first step. Second step, you want to bounce jump here. Well, you see where the line is, is in the wall? This is where you want to bounce jump. And first step is to... Wait, can I see it? Yeah, see this line in the wall? Uh, I will sh so look at the cursor of my mouse if I don't forget to put it in the video. Uh, see the line in the wall just near the torch, you would, you want to bounce jump between this line and the torch. If you jump in the torch, we get burned, or uh, sent to the sand. Ooh. And if you do it too early, well, obviously, we won't get enough speed. So you get like half a second of window, which is not much, but I guess enough. And um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, not easy, of course, <laughs> but for me it's way easier, for example, to to do that than do the first time jump in Forest Village. I'm serious. I can do that way more consistently. And this is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so if I can do it three times in a row like I just did, you can do this like... A hundred time. I'm pretty sure of it. No, seriously. I don't know if you can do it constantly enough with this technique to do it in a real run. But this is a step closer, I guess. And yeah, I'm doing many torch up here. This is cool. I like it. Oh, this is beautiful. See, I, don't, I didn't get burned once. Um... And I only got f like f how many direction? Well, eight direction, I guess. You can see the direction of the side. And you see uh, TAS input, the win TAS input window. This is my controller. Um, if you practice on Dolphin with. Oh, that was too late. With a GC uh, controller adaptator, I'm pretty sure you can master this thing. And then you will get every world record of the world. Wait, every world record of the world, that's stupid. Even the Super Mario 64 record, you will get it somehow because the Torch God will allow you that. Definitely makes sense. Doesn't it? And that was too early. So this is what happened when you go too early. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I don't get burned like that. And I do Torch Jump in a uh, many Torch Jump in a row. And that's that's a risk, yeah. You can die stupidly like that. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know if you can feel this like safe, especially since it's, it's not early in the game. You know, it's middle part of the game. I would say maybe a bit after. But this is a huge time saver, so it's worth it definitely. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you. Just one last time, please, one last time. <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, what happened here is that I did the first jump in this angle. Oh, uh, not this one, this angle. And you need to really be parallel to this wall to be safe. Be parallel. So, this angle is good. And yeah, I guess if you test it by yourself, you will understand quickly how everything works. And again, I don't know if I said it, but you get half, a bit more than half a second window to do the to a successful tour jump. And yeah, hope it, hope it helps you. This video is oh, way, way more than five minutes, damn it. <laughs> and I will see you.